2014 McLaren P1. Overview. McLaren's first hybrid packs 903 horsepower. The McLaren P1 is a huge step forward for the company and for the hypercar game in general. It represents the pinnacle of McLaren's knowledge in creating road cars that integrate the best Formula One technology to achieve searing performance on par with the best of the best from Ferrari and Pagani. The exterior of the P1 is not an instant hit, like La Ferrari across the auto show floor. It's a convoluted collection of shapes and forms that doesn't captivate the eye like a hypercar should, highlighted by the extremely awkward, fiberglass kit car appearance of the body sides and doors. At first, all the surfaces look too soft, almost like a melted ice cream cone. The interior of the P1 shows big progress over the vaguely unfinished appearance in the 12C. In contrast to the first 18 months of 12C production, the electronic screens that serve as the P1 speedo and navigation appear to be functioning. Other tweaks to the 12C theme include steering wheel mounted buttons for the first time, controlling the F1 style IPA's electronic boost function and the drag reduction system, DRS that disables the air brake functions of the rear spoiler. Other highlights in the cabin include the well-executed floating center console that brings the portrait-oriented nav screen closer to the driver's hands and at a more vertical angle to avoid glare that can wash out the screen. The P1 risked being overshadowed during its big debuts in Paris and Geneva, thanks to the concurrent reveals of La Ferrari and the Lamborghini Veneno, which both pack more styling drama and a more artful execution than the P1. Not one to shy away from competition, McLaren is ready for the sales brawl in the hypercar segment with their vision of the ultimate road car. The difference for McLaren versus Bugatti Veyron, for example, is that this is a make or break technical showcase whose failure could threaten the stability of the entire fledgling McLaren automotive division. The Woking crew needs the P1 to be a real hero car in order for its marketing magic to trickle down to their 12C and upcoming 911 fighting P13 models. Among the admirable traits of McLaren Supremo Ron Dennis is his willingness to make running changes to the models. Following the 12C's debut, the team bumped the power output, made the engine and exhaust much louder, and reprogrammed the stability controls, all in the name of driving pleasure. 